With iMovie, it's easy to combine a clip of a subject shot in front of a green or blue screen with a background. If you want to follow along, you'll need to create a new project for this lesson. I've named this one Effects. Let's look at some of the backgrounds built into iMovie, though keep in mind you can use any photo or video clip from your library as the background. Above the browser, click the Backgrounds button and skim over a few to preview them. Some are animated and some are still images. Let's use this one called Underwater. Drag it into the empty timeline. If I return to My Media and select the iMovie library, you can see it contains a video clip of a young woman standing in front of a green wall. This is called a green screen shot. She was shot in this manner so that the green color could be removed and replaced with something else. This process is called keying. The colors that are the easiest to remove are usually green or blue. The more evenly lit the background color is, the easier it will be to remove it. As you can see, this background is not lit very evenly. It has a bright spot in the middle and dark corners. To key a shot in iMovie, you first need to add it to your project as a connected clip over a background clip. So I'll double click it to select the entire clip and then drag it over this underwater clip here. The background clip is longer, so let's trim it to match the connected clip. Next, let's select the connected clip and in the adjustments bar, select the video overlay settings. The video overlay style is set to cutaway. Let's change the video overlay style to green blue screen. Immediately, the green background disappears or is keyed out and we see the watery clip beneath. Now, depending on how evenly your green screen was lit and how close the subject was to the green background, some of the background may not be removed automatically. You'll use these tools to improve the key. Drag the softness slider. Dragging to the right softens the key, but going too far starts to make the subject transparent. Dragging left brings in more hair detail, but also brings back some of the background. Notice the dark areas in the bottom corners and near her hair. Try to find a good middle ground. You can crop the clip to focus the key on just the area around the subject, which makes it easier to improve. Drag the right crop handles over and closer to the subject and the top handles down. Now it's clear that the background is still not fully removed. Select the eraser, then click and drag in these dirty areas, making sure to avoid touching the subject. If you do accidentally, just start again. There, that's much better. Let's play that. You can see how easy it is to key a shot in iMovie using the green blue screen video overlay style applied to a connected clip, even on less than ideal green screen shots. In the next lesson, we'll look at how to enhance your video and apply effects. If you want to learn more about iMovie, check out our Lessons for iMovie app in the Mac App Store, or go to rippletraining.com to see our full library of iMovie and Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials.